Hey, guess what? It's me, HCG. And uh, this is going to have to be a regular occurrence in my life. And uh, who says you can't uh, teach dogs new tricks? So this is Mimi getting real. I have a couple of things I want to uh, discuss while I'm free and nobody's running in and out of my house. When you have two adults that move back in and then you have their significant others, you know, until people get married and move out, you just don't have... Um, you know, the time, the private time at all. There's, I'm serious. There's always other adults here in the house. And these glasses are going to drive me crazy. So, anyway, I don't think I have to read anything. Uh, <clears throat> I have come to the realization that I'm going to have to be doing these vlogs every day. And, uh, and I knew that before. You know how we all know things and we just refuse to do it because we don't we don't want to listen to ourselves with excuses. Today's November the 1st. Can you believe it? Where has the year gone? I'm not kidding. You youngins out there that are in your 20s and your 30s and now in your 40s and you're on this journey and you're trying to get healthy and you're trying to get rid of your abnormal fat, stick with it now when, it, when it's easy. The older you get, I'm convinced, if you all could really see, if I had a good camera, you could see this hair, all the gray that's there. Anyway, stay focused, Holly. Anyway, let me get this. I feel like I'm too close to you. I'm too close. I need room. <coughs> when you're young, you know, you can tackle things and move on. When you're older, your body is old and it hangs on. So anyway, I said all that to say this. I got on the scale today, and I did wait until, I don't know, it was after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But I got on the scale today. I had already had some cashews. I had a cup of coffee. I'm trying to think if I've had, if I had anything else. A glass of water. I don't want to, you know, because I, you know, it's amazing how you don't pay attention to what you're eating. Did I eat? Let's see. Fed the hubby. Fed the daughter. I made them eggs. I don't think I ate anything. I did take a, um, a dose of MCT oil and apple cider vinegar. Tablespoon of each. Drank that down. Of course, choked. You know, and I like apple cider vinegar, but no matter how hard I try to adjust my esophagus a certain way to take in the apple cider vinegar, I still go <laughs> like that. It hits the roof of my mouth, and before you know it, I'm completely on fire. So, I got to practice on that. Anyway, I decided, I thought, you know, I'm going to weigh myself. Now, the situation is this. I... It was, it was pretty far, I think, I'm trying to think a few weeks before, a week or two before I went on vacation. And for those of you that have subbed to me for a while, and you know I met up with Miss HCG Girl down in Tennessee. Anyway, I think I had, I know it was before that. I know it was a while. It was a pretty good while. And I actually waited, too, in the afternoon. I didn't get up in the morning and go weigh myself. I hadn't been weighing myself. Matter of fact, I went through the whole phase three without weighing myself when I said I would never do that again. I would never not weigh myself. And 
I hate that part about me. This is my weakness. I say I will never do something and then I do the total opposite. Pathetic. But I'm not going to beat myself up about it. So, And I don't want anybody else beating themselves up about it when they do that because that's how our intentions, we mean well, we want to do the right thing. But, you know, spirit's willing, flesh is weak. That's the story of mankind. So anyway, I thought, I'm going to get on the scale. Anyway, I got on the scale before, several weeks before vacation. And here's the problem. I was, and this was later in the afternoon, but it really doesn't matter because I was 189 point something. 189. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, that's crazy. I didn't get my book out. I didn't check everything. I didn't. I was totally oblivious to what my last dose weight was until today. Today, I decided I'm going to weigh myself. Now, through this time, the protocol, I can honestly say that the majority of things that I have eaten since I went into phase three, and especially when I was in phase three, for weeks and weeks and weeks, has been since the end of July or the first of August. So from that time, I have pretty much, trying to get my notebook, but it really doesn't matter. Anyway, you know, to not eat stuff. Not to eat things I shouldn't eat. You know, not, I haven't had pastas. I have to sneeze. <gasps> Excuse me. So anyway, I haven't, you know, I mean, I'm not a chip seater. I'm going through all this thing. Even Ezekiel bread. Even the Ezekiel muffins, the English muffins. I have had maybe four of those, which is would be, I'm talking like four half, you know, four halves and ate with uh, scrambled eggs, our eggs. And even feeling bad because I'm thinking my body is not gonna accept this. I don't care if it's all sprouted. My body is not gonna respond in a positive way to it. And of course I didn't get on the scale to find out if it did or not. Um, my husband had made, we make like homemade pizzas, but we use the Ezekiel flatbread. I can't say what that really is because I screw up that word. Anyway, so I didn't, you know, we put it on there. But even that, eating a small, you know, homemade pizza, that means with cheese and vegetables on there, on the grill, and they're good, by the way. That's the only way I like them anyway, that Ezekiel bread stuff. Uh, even that, I'm feeling bad about it. I'm feeling like I'm, you know, this is, this is not going to be a good thing for me. So, all this time, even when I was on vacation, I had two fried apple pies at this place in Georgia where they make it. Uh, Ella J, I think is where it was. And they make, it was like a big apple place there. I mean, they're like famous for their apples. I didn't know that. You know, you think Georgia peach everything, but no, these are apples. And we even got the fried apple pies that were made with um, apple juice, no sugar added. And because I don't like that sweet, sweet, sweet anyway. But I didn't eat two together. We ate one and then we got another one and decided that we'd have it the next day. I wanted the next day. Now for dinner, we'd actually only ate out actually stopped and got food and took it back, which was barbecue and some coleslaw. They had like cornbread or something like that. I did not eat that. Um, even Todd got like macaroni. I said, just get me two things of the coleslaw. I don't want the macaroni and cheese. And for some reason, he had a brain fart, and he got me the coleslaw and macaroni and cheese. We didn't want the baked beans. I said, I'll just take the two coleslaws. Well, I didn't eat. I took a bite of the macaroni and cheese, and it was nasty as far as I was concerned. Ate the slaw, ate some of the barbecue, which wasn't that great either, and this place is supposed to be a big deal with their barbecue. And uh, 
and of course drank, you know, I mean, we drank some beers, like a couple of beers every, uh, every day, you know, while you're sitting in the hot tub, you're drinking you a beer, and, and also for dinner, when we cooked, with the majority of the time, we went to a place that sells brass fed only beef. That's it. They don't finish off with corn. They don't do any of that. It's all organic. And uh, so we bought some steaks. And oh my gosh, they were so good. But we had that, asparagus, and a sweet potato. Now, that was the that was a big thing just to eat the sweet potato. And it was so good, but... Needless to say, I don't know. I don't know if the sweet potato bothers me or not. Anyway, I had this in the back of my head that I had weighed, 189. So today, I have been, since we've been back, I have been really fighting. I made, I made uh, chocolate delight. I woke up and I had this epiphany that maybe I should go back to eating phase two foods, but just eat more of it and not so much of the fat stuff. Because if I'm not exercising, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking in more calories than I am, you know, that's going out. So anyway, I was thinking about this and I never did get yogurt. I stop buying yogurt when I go into phase three because yogurt has sugar in it. Even the plain non-fat, of course, has sugar in it. And the fat has sugar in it. So I thought, why well, shouldn't be eating that? So I decided that I was going to go get some yogurt. I have been eating. I wasn't even eating fruit. I didn't have any summer fruit except strawberries. That's been the extent of my fruit intake. I did get some peaches. We were in Georgia, and I thought I should get some peaches, but I didn't even see where those were from. They were probably from Chile. But, you know, I didn't even buy, you know, didn't even check, but I thought I'm going to eat a peach. And we actually cooked the peaches on the grill. He kind of put them on the grill. Oh, my gosh. And we did make, I did make some honey. I put some, heated up some honey with some butter and... And then I had toasted the pecans. Now, see, I'm going off on this. Toasted some pecans, mixed that in there with the honey, the butter, and I added a little bit of heavy cream um, to it. And then poured that the second night over the peaches. The first night, I didn't. We just had roasted, uh, we just uh, grilled the peaches. So this is, this is what I've been, you know, doing. And even here at home, uh, eating, still eating nuts. So, okay, this is getting long. Anyway, trying to watch myself and what I eat. The only thing that's frustrating was with me is that I'm wanting to eat more protein, but the protein is not, it's very difficult to, inexpensive, to eat steak and, you know, to have these big proteins and, and even hamburger. It's like every day I have, should I get up and I have to fry a hamburger every day? I have to fix a steak, you know. So I just struggle with this. And, and you got to remember, too, I'm fixing Todd's dinner. I'm fixing his lunch every day. And I also have to prepare dinner for him at work because he works second shift. So... Anyway, you know, today I got on the scale, went in there, got on the scale and stepped on it. And fortunately, it said 183.6. So I'd lost some weight. I had released some weight since the 189. Now, mind you, my starting weight was like 219. I have, I have lost and gained and lost and gained this weight way too many times, way too many times, and it's quite exhausting. So I get on the scale, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, if I weighed myself this morning before I drank coffee and all that kind of stuff, you know, I might be down to my last dose weight. 
which I thought was like 181 or 182. I don't know why I thought that. I just don't know why. You would think as, as the blonde begins to grow out, the smarter I would get. But, so I thought, oh, awesome. I'm doing good. I've got this. I've, you know, I've buckled down now. I'm really like trying to eat fats. I made chocolate delight. I'm getting ready to, I just got some beef broth because I was going to make Miss HCG's her taco uh, soup with the Brussels sprouts. I got Brussels sprouts. Um, I got yogurt. I was, I've ate yogurt with strawberries um, like I did before when I'm on phase two. So I think I'm, this is what I'm, you know, I'm going to do. And so I thought, okay, this book that I have that's got all my stuff in it, you know, which was actually in the closet, hidden, you know, and I thought, okay, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to start a new page here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to start a new page. Here it is, November the 1st. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go back to my last uh, thing that I documented, August the 4th. 2012, last dose weight, 172, not 182, 172. Guess what, people? I've gained 11 pounds. It was even more than 11 pounds if it hadn't been for, you know, me really cutting back. Now, you know, I, I call my husband up. I'm going down to the grocery store to get the beef broth and, and this. And I'm like, guess what? Guess what I really weighed? You know, this last round, round three, I'm not even counting a couple other rounds before the round one. You know, round one, round two, round three. I weighed 172. That was my last two weeks. Are you kidding me? I'm like, no, I'm not. I said, tell me. You see what I eat. You know, what is wrong with my body? It's, I can't, I can't win. There's just like, I can't even, it's difficult because you feel like you can't sit down and enjoy anything you put in your mouth. Everything you put in your mouth is, is either going to attack you. I don't know. But, I wasn't really that angry. I was like, oh my gosh. My first thought was, I am so glad I stepped on the scale. So, I am, I am, my plan is, is to start round four again, Thanksgiving. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be loading on Thanksgiving, and I tell you why. We're not even making a turkey. Guess what? We're having all the, you know, my kids are here and their significant others. And guess what they want for Thanksgiving? They want chicken wings and homemade potato chips. My husband, you know, makes these homemade chicken wings. He put, cooks them on the grill in his own sauce, which I don't know if he can even remember what it was. Well, I think he, you know, a couple of the beers when he was pouring in everything. But anyway, the kids have all said, those are the best chicken wings ever. We need to, we need to be selling them, blah, blah, blah. So, None of them really care for turkey. They don't like Thanksgiving food. So, anyway, that's what they wanted. I'm not too thrilled about it. But anytime I've ever fixed holiday meals, which I usually do Christmas. My husband and I do Christmas and, you know, prime rib. I think last year we did some ham that we soaked and stuff and then cooked it, which wasn't very good. But I don't eat. I'm not a big holiday eater, so if I if I plan on doing loading on Thanksgiving, I will not do a very good load because I'm first of all I'm not hungry when I start taking HCG. So I start that I'm not even hungry. So I have to make myself eat and load, and I do fine. I I gain a pound, then I lose that pound right away, and I don't suffer from from hunger. <clears throat> so I was actually looking into 
doing injections, which I've never done before. And uh, was looking at, you know, I watched Delman um, and his target loading, and I thought, I really don't have the problem with hunger and stuff. So, I don't know. I might skip that. I actually, I have enough HCG for two rounds at least. Uh, I got 5,000 I use. So, um, but I went ahead and I did order some more from escrow refill and ordered some more and but I said all this, and this is late, but I haven't made them in a while. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, to let you all know. And my plan is, is to be on here every day. I am going to get up and weigh myself tomorrow. I did eat a Baconator without the bun. That's very satisfying for me, although they only gave me one piece of cheese on there. And I'm not happy about that, you know, because this is like a $6 burger for this Baconator. And it is really good. I mean, if you're on phase three and you're out, go to Wendy's, get the Baconator. They don't put any pink slime in their meat. And, um, I mean, it's been written up in Hamburger Today and different foodie blogs that talk about this hamburger because it's got like six pieces of bacon. So, anyway, my, I also, too, my daughter that moved back in, she's got a big Labrador that weighs 150 pounds. I mean, her and I both need to get on the treadmill. Um, oh, she's underneath my feet. So that is the situation. And uh, I think I'm going to end it because, my gosh, it's 20 minutes. And I'm not, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to download it and uh, hopefully those of you that are, like, taking a, um, a detox bath or something like that, you can just click on my vlog. <laughs> You just click on this one and listen to it, and you won't have to worry about getting your computer or your phone or that wet to start another one. So, um, hi to all my new subscribers, and hey, this is Mimi, and I've got a couple of other things I want to talk about, too, so I'll save those for tomorrow. So, bye, everybody. A big hug to my HCG family.